about to show you my five favorite transitions that I think you should know if you're using a gimbal. I will give you an in-depth tutorial on how to film those transitions and what's more important how to edit those transitions. Cause it will make even boring shots more impressive. Hey, what's up? My name is Arthur Weiner and firstly, we need to set the right settings in the camera and in the gimbal. In the camera, I suggest you set at least 50 frames per second so you'll be able to slow down your footage in post if you need to. And it's also a good idea to shoot in 4K and render in 1080 because you're gonna crop our footage to achieve the best results. And we need smooth transitions, so in the gimbal, set the smooth mode. The first transition is live photo. A camera flies through a photo that transforms into a video. It looks cool and it's very easy to do. We're gonna need two shots for this. In the first shot, ask your friend to grab a photo or a frame and just stand still. It can be any size and any shape really. Now grab a gimbal and slowly walk towards the photo till the camera touches the photo. So the photo should completely fill out the shot. For the second shot, film anything but make sure that it's the same movement as in the first shot. The camera should fly forward. Open up the After Effects and drag your shot into a new composition. Go to the animation and click on track camera. Don't forget to change the shot type to variable zoom in the plugin settings and after it's finished analyzing you will see a bunch of X marks. Hover your mouse over these marks and find a surface that is closest to the surface of your photo. Right click and select create null and camera. Cool, now we have the null attached to the photo in the 3D space. Then drop your second shot, make it a top layer and make it a 3D layer. Right click the layer and select time freeze frame. Now our video has turned into a photo. Make the photo smaller by decreasing the scale of it and make it approximately the size of the frame, a bit bigger. To make our photo fit inside the frame, select the pen tool and mask the inner side of the frame. And you will probably animate the mask path so it stays constant throughout the length of the video. I will also add the texturize plugin from Red Giant to make it look more like a real photo. And in the end of the video, I will animate the opacity to make the texture disappear because later we're gonna fly into it. Great, now select all the layers, right click and choose pre-compose. Name it as you wish and click OK. Somewhere closer to the beginning, add two keyframes for scale and for position. In the very end, scale it up so the second shot fills out the frame completely. Then move to the composition settings and make it like five seconds longer. Then make a duplicate of our second shot that is still frozen for now and turn it back into a video. Right at the end of the bottom clip, connect the two layers together so they match perfectly. Our goal is to make this cut literally invisible. I also recommend adding a smooth animation by adding two keyframes for the position and scale at the beginning and at the end of the top layer. The second transition is the infinite loop, probably my favorite in today's list. Find several walls and ask your friends to stand in front of these walls. Then grab your gimbal and draw an arc around your subject. Start slowly moving from one wall to another following the same trajectory. It's important to walk as steady as possible. You can walk slower if you need to, but don't rush. Then repeat the same movement around other walls. In post, we could make the effect using one of two ways. The first way is to speed the shots up and then just cut them all together. However, in my opinion, just by speeding the shots up will not make the result impressive. That's why there is a second way that I like more. If you're getting value out of this video, hit the like button gently. That way you will help the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people and you will also make this person happy. Open up the After Effects, drag the footage onto the timeline and in the right panel go to the Tracker section and select Stabilize Motion. Move to the beginning of the video and drag the tracking frame right over the face of our subject. Then click Analyze Forward and when the software is done tracking it, click Apply. And now your video is stabilized relative to the head. That's exactly what we need. Now add two keyframes for the position and scale at the beginning and animate the frame so it always stays within the frame. Also keep in mind that the head should always stay in the same position of the frame. Then repeat this procedure with other walls and move all the footage to Premiere Pro. If you want to keep it simple, just speed up the footage and connect the shots together. But I decided to add speed ramps so that the camera slows down in front of the wall. If you don't know how to add speed ramps, check out my tutorial on how to add them by clicking here or the link below. 
Next up is the portal transition. You will be able to fly through any object, getting from one location to another. Find any shape like a window or an arc, I'm gonna grab my gimbal and slowly walk towards the wall until the shape is out of the frame, exactly as we did with the photo. Then make a second shot in another place, maintaining the same forward movement. Drag the first shot in After Effects, but this time we're gonna track it differently. Go to Animation and select Track in Mocha. This software is really good at tracking surfaces. In Mocha, make a mask around your object and make it look similar to the shape of the object. Then press track forward and after it's done tracking, click this little save icon. In After Effects, move your second clip on top and just leave it there, but turn it off for now. In the Mocha plugin, click on create masks. Highlight it down here and paste it to the second layer. Increase the feather and decrease the expansion so it fits in your shape. Then closer to the end of the bottom clip, add two keyframes and animate the scale of the second shot. Again, it helps to make the transition more organic. All we need to do now is to click the play button. Number 4 is the Spiral 360 transition. Grab your gimbal and turn on the Inception mode. Select the slow rotation speed and find two locations. In the first location make a spin walking forward and in the second location make the same spin walking forward. Select the best moments where you want to make this transition and add two speed ramps. For the first shot and for the second. So we slowly start speeding up and then we slowly speeding down. In between these shots add the basic cross dissolve transition. On the second video track add the adjustment layer and trim it so it fits the moment when the transition takes place. Throw the Radial Blur plugin onto it, this is the plugin from Red Giant. Add a keyframe in the middle, increase the blur size, also add two keyframes at the beginning and at the end, set them on zero. This kind of blur will help you tie these shots together more nicely. Number 5 is the ground level transition. At the end of the first shot, pull your camera down and hold it for a second. Or huddle it, if you know what I mean. At the beginning of the second shot, walk for a second with the camera pointing down and then slowly start pulling your camera up from the ground. I will also add two speed ramps at the end of the first clip and at the beginning of the second clip. And I'm gonna add the cross dissolve transition to connect these shots better. Let me know what is your favorite gimbal transition and would you like to see more videos like this one? I'm curious. If you like this video, you would probably like this videos. Consider watching them and I will see you in the next video.